Let your hair down, baby. I just hit a score. Pick any place on the planet. Pick a shore. Take what the falls figure, then figure more. Cause they forgot to account what I did with the bra. Pick a time, let's pick apart some stars. Pick a weekend for freaking for figure falls. I figure frost never hit a lick of fall. So they don't know the feeling when them things get across. Put your hand out the window, feel a force, feel a posh. Hit the frost, ice cold. Jewels got no flaws, drop got no top. You on the top floor, pink rose, pink OJ. I get away with murder when I sling yay. Got less steps than Britney. That means it ain't stepped on. Dig me. The rock boys in the building tonight. Hey. Oh, what a feeling I'm feeling like. Hey. You don't even gotta bring your paper out. We the dope boys of the year. Drinks is on the house. The rock boys in the building tonight. Hey. Look at how I'm chilling. I'm killing this ice. Hey. You don't even gotta bring your purses out. We the dope boys of the year. Drinks is on the house. Rare Porsches, rare portraits, rare guns. If you did come near the fortress. Hey guys, so welcome to this week's vlog. So let me just go on ahead and address the elephant in the room before we get started with this video. So last year sometime, maybe around October, November, I saw Chris Loves Lux and Amy Glam do a monthly tray, like fragrances that they were gonna wear for the month. And I thought it was so cool. I still think it's very cool. And I was like, you know what? Let me jump on this. This seems like a really good idea. I have so many fragrances and this will actually help me to stick to a plan, like what fragrances I'm gonna wear, stick to that plan and keep it pushing. Okay, but see, <laughs> what had happened was it was not working out for your girl, okay? so. I had to scrap the monthly tray, but what I decided to do in the 2022, <laughs> and I haven't gotten around to it until this video, I wanna share with you guys the fragrances that I actually wore the most for the month. So this way, I'm not trying to stick to any plan or stick to any script. I can do whatever I wanna do, <laughs> whatever I please, wear whatever I so choose, but this way I can let you guys know what are the fragrances that I've been loving and obsessing over for the previous month. So that's what we're gonna do in this segment of the vlog right here. I wanna show you guys the fragrances that I have been obsessed with for the month of February. I'm looking over here at my little list and I've spoken about a lot of these fragrances recently on my channel, like in different list videos. But guys, it is what it is. Like I'm speaking of the fragrances that I actually wear, that I actually, first of all, I love all of my fragrances. This list doesn't necessarily mean that I love these fragrances more than the other ones that I have in my collection. It just means that I've been gravitating to these more. So with all that being said, honey, let's start this video. Okay guys, no face, no case. <laughs> you guys will see me a little bit later in the vlog. So anywho, this fragrance right here, Lancome's Trésor La Nuit. It's so super sexy, it's sweet, it's like syrupy sweet, it's earthy, it's fruity, it's rosy. This fragrance is everything, guys. But I will say that I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't seen it on the Lancome website for a while. <laughs> like, guys, it's been sold out in every size on the Lancome website and it's making me very, very nervous because... I'm gonna need a backup bottle, like ASAP. Like seriously guys, this bottle is, I mean, I still have a ways to go. I have like maybe another season with this possibly. But guys, this fragrance is so beautiful. Like I'm literally obsessed with it and I hope and pray they don't pull any funky stuff because Lancome is good for that. Like I don't know what's going on but they need to restock this fragrance because as soon as they restock, I'm getting my backup bottle because I don't have any time to be playing with these people over at Lancome, okay? So like I said, this is a beautiful, sweet, fruity, rosy fragrance, guys. And I've been killing this in the month of February. I wore this to bed a couple of times. I wore this to the nail salon. And let me just clarify, me killing a fragrance for the whole entire month consists of me wearing it at least three to four times, okay? Not once or twice, definitely three to four times. So that's a lot. It may not seem like a lot, but when you have a lot of fragrances, three to four times in one month is definitely a lot. Well, for me anyway. <laughs> so this is definitely a fragrance that I've been killing in the month of February and I am obsessed. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on the good girl brew smoking, like... <laughs> I feel like I've been speaking about this fragrance for at least the past two weeks straight. This fragrance right here, guys, has me in a chokehold right now, okay? For the month of January, February, and moving into March, I am killing this fragrance. I'm telling you, by next season, by next fall, I'm going to need another bottle because I've been wearing this so much, and I will be wearing it in the spring and summer as well. I probably won't add it in my spring-summer videos, you know, for you guys, but... 
I will be wearing this at night because this is so super sexy, okay? Everybody knows Rue Smoking. It's sweet, it's powdery, it's musky, it's cherry, it's creamy. It smells like a root beer float. It's addictive, it's unique. To me, it's not similar to Lost Cherry. Like when you read Fragrantica, you'll see that it has similarity to Lost Cherry, not to me. The only similarity is they both share a cherry note, but those two cherry notes to me, to my nose and on my skin are completely different. This is a beautiful fragrance, guys. I mean, obviously Lost Cherry is beautiful as well, but I'm just saying, they don't share any similarities to me. You can purchase this fragrance from SoAvantGarde.com using my discount code, TheGreat20, and save 20%. I wore this on a movie night with Bay, movie night in the house, because we haven't been to the movie theaters like out yet. <laughs> And I also wore this to get Colombian food. So I'm telling you guys, this is a beautiful scent and I'm addicted to it. And the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the dent. As you guys can see, I'm obsessed. And it lasts long on my skin. I don't have any issues with it. I've heard from a few people that it doesn't last on their skin. But thankfully, I don't have that problem because Rouge Smoking, she sticks to my skin like glue. And I love her. <laughs> can you guys see this dent? I recently hauled this fragrance in January. This is new to my collection, but look at the dent. Guys, this fragrance is everything. <laughs> Listen, everything is everything, okay? All the fragrances on this list is everything. So anyway, this is Nomad by Bond Number 9. Guys, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I wore this fragrance not that much in January, but in February. Oh, listen. And I'm taking her into March and April. Like, this fragrance is going to get so much burn for me. When I tell you, this is a sexy date night fragrance, okay? You want to slay on a date night. You want to be that girl. You want to be sexy. You want to get attention. You're going to wear Nomad. It's fruity. It has black currant. I've been on a black currant and sandalwood kick lately, guys. This fragrance has black currant in the opening. It also has pear. It has um, oud, like a nice smooth oud. It's a beautiful scent. It is unisex, but to me, I don't know. Like to me, it leans feminine in my opinion. I don't know, or just maybe feminine on my skin. But it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. This is going to be worn in the spring, summer by me at nighttime, guys, on a date night. This is so super sexy. I don't care that it has oud because this oud is very smooth. It's not a harsh animalic super loud oud but it does have a little bit of the dna of signature scent by bond number nine but a very fruity signature scent so think of signature scent like if you know what that smells like but with a bunch of fruits black currant and pear it's so so beautiful guys i absolutely love this i will purchase another bottle of this because i want this to be in my collection like always actually my entire bond collection which is 10 bottles at this point are for life fragrances. Like I will always repurchase those fragrances. And this one right here, it has me in a chokehold. I'm sorry. Bond number nine, Nomad guys. It's so special. Okay, so now we have Miss Bitter Peach, honey. Bay bought this bottle for me guys. And when I tell you, <laughs> this fragrance is so expensive. I did not know how much this large bottle retail for until I looked at it the other day. And I asked him like, Bay, why did you buy this huge bottle although i love it okay like i'm spraying the crap out of this bottle can you see Ooh, i think you can probably see a little bit but anyway i'm spraying the crap out of this bottle but i would have preferred the 50 mil size only because it matches my other time for bottles and i believe the 50 mil came with a travel size and it was like over a hundred dollars cheaper than this but he looked at it like, well, you're getting a whole other 50 mils for X, Y, Z. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> That's his logic. But, guys, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. It's so super sweet. Like, this is a fragrance that has to grow on you. Like, honestly, when I first smelled this fragrance, I was on a fence about it. Because at first I sprayed it and I was not feeling it. But then it dried down and I was feeling it. But then I was like, do I want it? Because I want to love my fragrance from the opening up until the dry down. Every time I went into the mall, which is literally every week, I would spray this fragrance and just walk around and smell my hand and just feel like, okay, do I need it? Do, am I going to get it? Do I need it? Should I get it? And just keep going back and forth until Babe was like, you know what? He just bought it for me for Christmas because I'm always talking about it like, damn, I don't know if I should get Bitter Peach. Should I get Bitter Peach? You know, whatever. But I don't think it's a safe blind buy. I definitely think it's an acquired scent because somebody's going to smell this and feel like it's not worth the price. Somebody's going to smell this and feel like it's too sweet. Somebody's going to smell this and feel like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's definitely different. This is a whole bar, guys. It's a whole 
bar this has rum and cognac in it i think it's a sweet peach like it's a sweet succulent peach but with rum and nectar there's sandalwood there's patchouli there's vanilla there's a lot going on with this fragrance to me like how i describe it i say it's the peach version of rose prick because to me rose prick is a different take on a rose scent this is a different take on a peach scent because i have other fragrances that feature the note of peach i have like three or four killian fragrances that feature the note of peach this is a very very different peach guys i'm telling you this right here is sexy like it's straight sexy vibes there's no other way to describe this fragrance other than sexy date night putting it on you want to smell better than everybody. You want to smell different from everybody. I'm not sure how many compliments you'll get with this fragrance. It's not like every time I wear it, I get a compliment. But actually, I want to say I've probably only gotten one compliment on this fragrance. But I don't care because it's a beautiful scent. It's super sweet. I love sweet, different, unique scents. And that's what this is to me. And I've been killing it in the month of February. Bit of Peach by Tom Ford. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that since having Passion de l'Amour in my collection, I haven't gone one month without wearing this fragrance. <laughs> like, I have not gone one month. I don't care if it's in the spring, the summer, the dead of winter, fall. Like, every single month, I'm picking up this fragrance. I want to say every week, at least once a week, I'm picking up this fragrance. I am completely obsessed with this scent. You guys know, if you know me, you know I do not like the brand House of Siage. However, I'm not gonna deprive myself of this goodness in a bottle because this smells amazing. And this was a gift from Bay. <laughs> this was a gift from Bay in 2019 or 2020. Like this is before lockdown. So it's either late 2019 or very early 2020 because I've been wearing this fragrance for a while now guys and it is everything it's so super exotic this has raspberries there's saffron there's oud there's caramel whenever i smell this it just puts me i don't know how to describe it like i just feel so on top of the world so sexy like when i'm walking you cannot tell me that i'm not that chick when i'm wearing passion de l'amour it smells that good to me another one that i don't think is a safe blind buy it's another acquired scent. It's not one that everyone is gonna love, but let me tell you, if you love it, like you're gonna be ride or die for this fragrance. This is a for life fragrance for me, guys, because it's everything. Like I absolutely love this fragrance. I have the travel sprays. When I go out, I take my travel sprays. I douse. When I say I douse myself in this, and whenever I wear this, I get compliments. That's the experience that I've been getting. Like whenever I wear this fragrance, people always seem to be pleased with it. And people that I know would not wear this fragrance. Like I like I have family members that's complimenting me on this fragrance and they only like fresh fragrances. You know what I mean? It's just one of those scents that when you smell it, you're gonna think someone smells good, whether you like the fragrance or not. I don't think it's a safe flying by. I hear it's unisex, but to me, I have to say this is a feminine scent. Like it's a unisex scent that possibly, not possibly, it's a unisex scent that leans feminine in my opinion because I wouldn't want to smell this on my man. And that's how I judge whether or not a fragrance is masculine leaning or feminine leaning or masculine or unisex or feminine. <laughs> Like if I can smell this on Bay, then I can say, okay, yes, it's unisex. If I smell something and I don't want to smell it on him, then no, it's not unisex because I feel like I wouldn't want to smell this on a man. So yeah, guys, like I said, every month, this is going to be on a tray in rotation. It doesn't matter how hot it is because in the summertime at night, I wear this fragrance, guys. <laughs> This definitely gets worn by me in the summertime at night because it's so super sexy and I love it. Passion de l'Amour by the House of Siage. I mean, at this point, at this point, <laughs> now y'all know I don't have to spend a lot of time on this one right here because this is the perfect intense. And she's had me in a chokehold since I got her in what, September of 2021? Guys, I'm obsessed. Like, seriously, like, Marc Jacobs just was like, okay, you want to act like you've grown? You want to act like you've outgrown my Marc Jacobs fragrances? Now I'm going to make perfect intense, and you're going to be in a chokehold. Like, I'm going to put you in a chokehold because this one right here is going to have you going goo goo gaga -ga and bonkers. I love this fragrance, guys. Is it super unique? Um, I think it's unique, but is it groundbreaking? Possibly not, but it's just something something about this fragrance that i'm obsessed with it may be the almond note it may be the sandalwood um it may be the i don't know what it is but whenever i smell this 
I just have to wear it. I wear it to bed a lot. I wear it in the house a lot. I also wear this fragrance out. I've worn this to, we went to Outback in February and I wore this to Outback. I got a compliment from my waiter. Like this is a beautiful scent. Whenever I wear this fragrance, I get compliments guys. This is a complimented fragrance in my collection. Now I recently got the Perfect, the original one. And I'm hoping that I get the same, you know, love and adoration. <laughs> for that fragrance that I have with the Perfect Intense because I'm obsessed with Perfect Intense, guys. It's just so beautiful. And layered with the um, Soul Cheriosa Bum Bum Cream. What? Listen, listen to me. That combination right there is all about the it girl. It's it girl status. It's that girl, you know what I mean? Like if you wake up and you don't feel like that girl, you go back to bed, you wake up, you feel like that girl, you gonna put on Perfect Intense. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's so beautiful and accessible. Like you can get this at Macy's, Ulta, Sephora, like whatever. I'll link all the fragrances that I'm talking about in the description box for you. I've heard a few people say that, you know, they've smelt it like off my recommendation, but they really weren't feeling it like that. It is different. I don't think it's a safe line by. Some people love the perfects, but they don't love the perfect intense. This has like a smell of a... What do you call that like sesame seed or like sesame oil or something like that but i just love it guys i've heard it smells like popcorn i don't get the popcorn but i definitely get a very nutty toasted almond type of scent and i'm just obsessed perfect intense honey okay so now it's all about the good girl donna born in roma so guys this fragrance came out in 2019 i got this fragrance when it first came out and i'm obsessed with it i absolutely love it it doesn't smell generic to me it doesn't smell like super groundbreaking, but it does smell a step above the other designer fragrances at the counter. You know what I mean? This has bourbon vanilla in it, which is the most high quality, expensive, bougie vanilla, honey. This also has black currant. I told you guys I'm in a black currant and sandalwood mood. Um, this has bourbon vanilla, like I said. It has jasmine. It's just a beautiful scent. It's slightly powdery. It's sweet. It's a little spicy. It lasts long on my skin. I've read on reviews from Fragrantica, like just, you know, being bored, I don't know why. <laughs> but I've read people say that it doesn't last long on their skin, like they're not even getting 30 minutes on their skin. I don't know what they're doing, but let me tell you something. I have a spring layering video coming up for you guys. And when I tell you that I found a layering combination for this fragrance right here, you guys are going to lose your mind, okay? Now, when I got this fragrance, I got a lotion with it, right? Because it came in a gift set. The lotion is now done. So what I do is just, you know, use a unscented eucerin cream and then spray the fragrance in my cream so that I can, you know, create some type of a scented lotion with this fragrance. But, and that works. But let me tell you, I found, like I said, a layering combination and you guys are going to lose your mind. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be in a spring layering video and I will feature this fragrance again. So you will be seeing the good girl Donna, born in Roma, in another video coming up soon, guys. Okay, guys, if you watch any of my videos, you already know that Fragrance Dubois Cafort has had me in a chokehold ever since I got her in February. Guys, this fragrance right here is everything. I mean, this is giving all types of romance. This is date night, sexy date night, of course, but it's like on a romantic level. This is giving put on your red dress and slip on your high heels, honey. <laughs> it's giving he's mad at you, but you walk past him wearing this fragrance and he's gonna pull you towards him. It's giving don't wear this to bed if you have something to do the next day because you're not gonna make it on time. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That's the vibe of this fragrance right here. Like I said, pure love, pure romance, pure sexiness, pure sensuality. Guys, this fragrance is everything. You can purchase this fragrance from soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 and save 20% off of this super sexy. Like guys, this juice is everything. Honestly, ooh, I'm looking at this tray right now and I wanna say which one is the best, but I can't. Like honestly, between Nomad, Passion de l'Amour and Cavort and Bitter Peach. Like, honestly, guys, I don't know which is the date night of all date night fragrances. I'm trying to figure it out and, and I, I just can't. They're all tied. They're all tied right now. Like, they all last long, like super long on my skin. They're all super sexy. Actually, let me see. Nomad projects, okay? Nomad is more of a beast. This isn't a skin scent. Cavort is not a skin scent, but it's not gonna be so super loud, but people will smell you. 
spray heavy, spray on your clothes, people will smell you, but it lasts forever on the skin. Bitter peach is also a beast. Ooh, and passion de l'amour. Can't. Oh my goodness. All right. Anyway, this isn't about that. Like I was saying to y'all, Cavort definitely has me in a chokehold, and I'll be wearing this fragrance in April, in May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December because it's just that sexy. I wore Baccarat Rouge a lot in the month of February. And what about it? What about it? Because this is like my everything fragrance, okay? I'm gonna need a new bottle by maybe June. Guys, I wear this fragrance every month. I wear this fragrance every week. This is my go-to, easy reach. I'm not sure what to wear. I'm rushing out the door. I need to hurry up and I'm pulling for Baccarat Rouge 540. It is what it is. Like, I mean, it is what it is. What about it? So the last fragrance that I wore at least three or four times in the month of February was Rolling in Love by Killian. Guys, when I say this fragrance is carnal, this fragrance is desirable. Guys, can you see this dent? Can you see that dent? I think you can see it, right? You can see it. If you look hard enough, you can see that dent. Guys, this is also a new fragrance in my collection. I think I got this fragrance in September or August. I'm not sure. But I got this fragrance when I was on a super almond kick. I still am. Like, I'm obsessed with the note of almond, guys. This has almond milk. This has iris. There's tuberose. There's vanilla. There's tonka bean. This fragrance right here is giving whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. Okay? Oh, you can see the dent this way better. Guys, you see that? Let me tell you something. Layer this fragrance with L'Occitane's almond oil. Get your whole entire life the whole life you ain't leaving no pieces of the life behind okay you're gonna get your whole life when you layer loxitin's almond oil with this fragrance do y'all hear me listen it's so super sexy uh i'm just loving this fragrance and i'm also gonna take this fragrance into april because it's still gonna be a little cool it's gonna be cool like up until like early may here it'll probably snow again like i'm not even gonna be surprised if it snows again but Anywho, I do have two honorable mentions for you guys because I wore them once. Now, this is Nishane Zen, and I wanted to talk about this for a little while. Let me get the notes because I'm not actually really sure. So I told you guys that I've been on a black currant kick. This fragrance opens up with black currant. There's rhubarb, there's grapefruit, Turkish rose, there's sandalwood. Guys, I wore this on a date night, and when I tell you I was feeling myself, y'all i was just like wow like why don't i wear this fragrance often like this fragrance right here is the truth okay definitely a sexy date night special occasion type of fragrance it's fruity it has vanilla it's sweet it's woody it's a signature scent type of fragrance it's an all year round um type of fragrance like i can see you wearing this all year round you can also purchase from soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20 i just had to give her a little shine because i did wear her and i was just pleasantly surprised it wasn't my first time wearing it but honestly i haven't worn that fragrance that much but i will be now and the last honorable mention i want to talk about is gentle fluidity gold this is another one that i'm gonna have to get a bottle sometime over the summer because it's another easy go-to reach for me. Where's the label right here? <laughs> it's another easy reach for me. It's another go-to for me. I doused myself in this fragrance. I absolutely love it. I mean, the dent is competing with the Baccarat Rouge by 40 dent. Let me see something. Because I had 540 longer than Gentle Fluidity Gold. Let's see. They're pretty much neck and neck. Actually, 540 is a little lower. Yeah, 540 is definitely a little lower. But guys, they're definitely competing because I love these fragrances. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the fragrances that have me in a chokehold. Thumbs up the video and let me know if you guys want to see videos like this every month moving forward. Because I definitely wear fragrances every month that I don't speak about on my channel when I'm doing my list videos. Because they're so specific to whatever the topic is. So this is a good way for you guys to see fragrances that I don't actually speak about that much on my channel. Like I haven't spoken about Gentle Fluidity Gold in a while because it just didn't fit any list that I put together. Or also Nishane Zen or Rolling in Love. You know what I mean? So if you want to see stuff like this, like I said, thumbs up the video. <laughs> and leave me a comment and let me know down below. So I'll see you guys later on in the vlog. But before I go, I wanted to show you guys how I stored my new little babies. So here's the YSL Sac Du Jour. I put her with the greens. 
and there is the yellow baby oh my gosh she is so beautiful guys like you don't even understand the color is everything for me so she's here in the yellow section with all the yellow fragrances and i can't wait to get my pink bag and an orange bag i'm gonna put the pink and the orange somewhere up here we'll figure it out but definitely somewhere in this area once I get the pink and the orange, guys, I'm done. Like, I have the yellow literally of my dreams. I don't need, like, 50,000 yellow bags. I say that now until something else comes out. Okay, whatever. Like, it is what it is. I'll see you guys later. No, nothing can stop me. No, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh, my niggas hey, guys. Happy Friday. So, Grumpy, a.k.a. Bay and I are on our way to the spa. And we're looking real busted right now. But we smell real good. My scent of the day, this is the reason why I came on to tell y'all. My scent of the day is the new Burberry Her EDT. And I mixed it with light blue intense. Listen, it is giving. Giving him something he can feel. Oh, what to let him know. This love is real. Hey, oh, okay. So anyway, so base into the day is Mercurial Cashmere by Electimus. And y'all, it smells so good. As soon as he came out the room, I was like, oh, you got on that Mercurial Cashmere. It smells so distinct. It smells so sexy. Like, why is he wearing it to the spa? I'm not too sure. But I'm wearing something fresh and clean because I'm just trying to give spa vibes. But later on, I'll put on something like heavier, sexier, or whatever. But right now, it's all about the freshies. What? <laughs> y'all, why is he looking at me like that? But anyway, all right, y'all. So we're headed to the spa. I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, so we're about to head to dinner. As you know, it's Friday. And I just wanted to show you guys my scent of the night. It's Bond Number no. 9 Nomad. And when I tell y'all, this about to be the it fragrance. First of all, it's already doused on me. I'm just spraying it like my last little spray before I get out the door. Spray it on my sweater a little bit. This honestly is a it fragrance. Like, I don't know why a lot of people aren't talking about this because this is that girl like seriously like if you want to be that girl you gonna be wearing nomad like it's just that good and on my lips i'm wearing a killian red lipstick let me just touch up a little bit i'm wearing my farm real sweater this angle is probably really bad you guys can't see um it is oversized because i look huge <laughs> but it's oversized and a tank top and I'm going to be carrying my new little bag, my new baby. She's so cute. She literally goes with everything, guys. But, um, so my bag is already packed. I have my boots. And I'll see you guys soon. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly. And her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing what I'm missing. Won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be. Brown Sugar.